Okay guys, today we are doing some fun stuff. We're out here shooting the new SIG Cross in the 308. So it should be a good video. We're gonna try to explain a lot of different things. It's gonna take some Q&A that we've done off of social media, try to answer some questions that maybe you guys might have. Um, if we do not get to them all, you can probably email SIG and ask them some questions as well. But um, anyway, we're gonna go over this gun today. 308 SIG Cross. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Tyler and uh, I'm the new videographer producer for Born and Raised. Uh, I'm from New Jersey. I'm here. My brother's living with me here. He moved out here. And uh, this is my girlfriend, Melissa. And uh, we're going to shoot an awesome video today with the SIG Cross Rifle. Hey guys, you may recognize Tyler. Uh, he caught his first steelhead with us on the steelhead trip with uh, the, Hush, the Hush guys. This is his brother, Austin. We're going to get him behind the trigger today and just see what that SIG Cross can do. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a fun day. So it's awesome. We get to add to the bro family. So anyway, these are all our new friends. We just met them actually pretty much today. So guys, you guys ready to have some fun? Oh yeah. 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 Let's do it. Today we just wanted to come out and shoot it at 100 yards, 500 yards to kind of show you what this gun, although small and compact, it is very accurate downrange. So it's a 16 inch barrel with a folding stock. It's six and a half pound gun, pretty amazing. And uh, this, little, Cute. this little gun here can pack a punch. Talk to me. That's how you shoot a gun. We're gonna shoot it at 100, one take, jump over here, shoot it at 500, let's get started. Okay. 503 yards, MRAD 2.6. Copy. So guys, one take, cold bore, dialed at 100, dialed, dialed at 503. You guys wanna check these out, these are gonna be available this June. So guys, this is Austin. He's from New Jersey. He's never shot this rifle before in his life. The first time ever pulling this trigger, it's gonna be at 503 yards. Uh, we have a right to left wind. It's about a four or five inch hold. We're dialed in. Austin, you about ready? Yeah. We've already dialed the scope, 2.7. We made a, a 0.1 MRAD adjustment. Just hold off about two inches to the right of that target and just squeeze the trigger. Yeah. <laughs> First shot, 503 yards, guys. Check out the SIG Cross. They're gonna be available in just a couple of weeks. Austin, that was freaking awesome, Steph. That was Steph. a great shot, buddy. Thank you. Guys, today we're here to talk about SIG Sour Cross, uh, something new coming to the market. We've been lucky to have our hands on it here for the last six months, and uh, I've done a little bit of testing. So we're gonna go through some of the details on what this rifle is all about. So one of the nicest features about this bolt action rifle here is the lightweight one-piece receiver. Uh, advantage there, your barrel connects straight into the receiver. You don't have any options or don't have any issues of where that barrel would have points of contact in that forward stock. So it's a free floated barrel. Um, and like I said, it's a straight barrel to the receiver, all machined. Uh, it's just a really nice, sturdy package. So I'm probably the last person to be talking specs, especially on something high, high tuned as this. I agree. But, but my, one of my favorite things about it is, because we take a lot of kids out. So they have adjustments for cheek and for, what's it called, Cody? Length of pull. Length of pull. 
Anyway, so you can adjust this to whatever kid, uh, adult, whoever you have coming out with you. You can adjust both of these things and it's super, super lightweight. It's not a, it's not a big deal. So with this one piece receiver, you have a free floating M-Lock handguard. Um, so you can quickly attach uh, any attachments that you want up here um, with M-Lock and you can go to a Arca Swiss four plate if you want to shoot off a tripod really easy. Makes for quick attachments and detachments for any accessories that you want to run on that, any of those M-Lock features. So the Cross is available in three calibers. They have the 277 Sig Fury, a 308. Those both have a 16 inch barrel and then in a 6.5 Creedmoor comes in an 18 inch barrel. So one of my favorite features uh, with this gun is it's really short. It's adjustable stock. You can pull this button right, go ahead code. You can pull the button in. The stock folds up to an overall Goody. length of 22 inches. Uh, so this gun's gonna come scope ready, set up with a Picatinny rail with simple mounts. You can be on the range and going in half hour. All right, so barrel twist on this is one and eight in the 6.5. It's a one and eight and a half in the 277 and a one and 10 twist on the 308. Overall weight on this rifle here in the 308 with a 16 inch barrel is six and a half pounds without a scope. So it's a super lightweight package for backcountry hunting. So guys, this gun right here, minus the scope, everything that you see, folding stock, lightweight. Anyway, it's gonna come in at a price point about $14.99, super affordable. So then the next level up is gonna be a cipher actually dip in cypher it looks really cool but um, that's going to come in at about $16.99 so super affordable for what they are definitely yeah so these guns are shipping in the end of June in the 6.5 and 308 uh, with full ramp in July and then the 277 will be in the market in August all right so John underscore the underscore K says how robust is that super adjustable stock do you think it can withstand a fair amount of abuse will there be aftermarket stock options well John uh, I was able to use this on a hunt in Colorado last year on an elk hunt and actually to pack the thing out we killed it at 12,000 vertical feet we had to pack it down a cliff fell a couple of times packing the meat but what we did was on my pack we'll try to show a picture um, packing out the bull we actually strapped the bull to part of the rifle to keep it stable use it as a cross to hold the antlers instead up. of a limb we used this rifle and after that hunt it was still accurate on target so yeah it's all machined aluminum how that is so when it locks in it locks in and when it locks in the forward position also locks folded so just a simple hey john it's pretty tough but we're just fine too vtr 308 which is the caliber that we are shooting asks are they going to be doing a bdx combo set with the cross yep to my knowledge we're going to be coming out with a sierra bdx uh paired with that scope from the factory set up ready to go so that some people ask about the bdx system legal in, in a fair amount of states for big game hunting uh, we got to use it in Colorado and Wyoming last year. It's a pretty invaluable system where it syncs the, from the app. Uh, you bond your scope and range finder and you get automatic holdover with it. So it's, it's a pretty neat system. Here in Oregon, unfortunately, we can't use that. So we, we run the Whiskey 5 scope on it and it, it doesn't have the pairing ability, but gives you the manual adjustment for MRAD or MOA on the adjustment scope. So. Hall underscore Luke 001 says, how does it compete with the regular hunting rifle and weight and overall comfort in a pack for a full day? Yeah, so Easy. six and a half pounds, it's a lightweight comparable setup to most hunting rifles out there. Um, super compact because of the foldability. Yeah, so it, I would say it's better than that. Um, we'll show it in a sling position as well, how you can attach a sling. And the one thing that I found, it was a pretty comfortable, actually very usable hunting sling where you carried it forward on you and it was, you had hands free, still retained it really well, but then we're, it was able to get into shooting position really well. So it's, it's interesting is when you first see this, you just think of like tactical gun and it's not a traditional hunting rifle in that design, but with the ability to use the precision base with the one piece receiver and everything it, it's a really neat hunting setup yeah if you can get past the look of correct in this part right here the functionality of it is amazing for hunting we found it's yeah it's amazing mr matt bush says which caliber did you guys use on the bear hunts and the release date please so yeah we we hunted with 308 this year so if you go back to some of our elk stuff from this last season i was hunting with a 6.5 creed more and um we actually turned those back in so they could do some extra stuff those were just prototypes these are the 308 is what we've been using all all bear season and then trevor hunted with the 277 sig fury in Colorado. Coleman 
underscore Springer says, overall thoughts on the this versus a traditional hunt, hunting rifle. I could this be a viable full-time replacement? Of course it could. Yeah, I mean, guys, if you've been following along with us for any amount of time, you know that uh, the, the equipment that we use, we take it real seriously. We like the best we can, and um, this is no different. This is big upgrade. I went from using a precision rifle where I had to pay many thousands of dollars just for the rifle um, to this that comes under price point at just under $1,500. And first time we ever shot that 100 yard group, I'll remember, I was, to be honest with you, super skeptical. And uh, we laid down and shot a three shot group and it was inside a half inch. And I looked up just at like, Cody, we were in Colorado. And I just, just smiled from ear to ear. I'm like, okay, this is next level. And it's been that way ever since. It's been awesome. I can't read the name, but somebody else, anyway, says, how much of a change is shooting a bolt action with an AR grip compared to a traditional bolt action? Can you still rest your thumb on the, the right side of the grip for faster bolt manipulation? Sure yep. you can, yeah. I was kind of wondering how that was going to be as well, just because it's usually, you know, you put your, your thumb over, but it does, it, it's actually fairly, Yeah, you can. it's like a duck to water, more or less. Golf Noslin underscore dad. Wow. <laughs> Why not more calibers? 277 Fury won't be a realistic option for reloading and a 308 win and a 6.5 Creedmoor just doesn't have the punch that I'm looking for. I'm super excited for the cross rifle, but need it in a different caliber. 7mm, 300 mag, original 270, for example. Why not? Yeah, so interesting enough, they, they're working on these first three to get them up and going. There is a long action in the works. We're hoping to test this fall with a wide variety of calibers. Pretty excited about that. We're actually collaborating on a rifle that we're gonna, uh, yeah. We're mentioning that. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be fun. Wow. So um, anyways, long action. And then there's also two more models of the Cross coming out, the Brooks Range, which is gonna be their ultralight backcountry carbon fiber barrel and some other things. It's gonna cut some weight. Um, and then they're also making a PRS, which is their precision series. It's gonna be with some tungsten parts, some of the heavier back weights um, for enablings. There's a couple more things coming out. This is just the first stage of many coming out with this bolt gun. A no worries over nickels and dimes or a nine to five grind. I gotta get loose sometimes. In trouble.